Sometimes I go to church and I have the most unfortunate experience of hearing certain songs like Lord of the Dance. I have no idea why this song is in our songbooks or why half the songs are in the missalettes that we have at Mass. I mean, Lord of the Dance itself should not be sung at church. It's a terrible song. I mean, first of all, it's a shaker hymn. But besides that, this song was inspired by a man. The guy who wrote the song, he was inspired by seeing a statue of who? Jesus? No, the god Shiva, the Hindu god who had multiple arms coming off of the statue. And when he saw that statue, he said, oh, the statue looks like it's dancing. So naturally, after seeing a Hindu god who looks like he's dancing, he was inspired to write a song about Jesus Christ. Tell me how that works. Well, maybe because his theology is wackadoodle as well, because he says that there are many Christs in the universe, which is heresy. There is not. There is only one Christ, and his name is Jesus Christ, the Messiah, the Son of the living God. But he says there are many Christs in the universe, and Jesus Christ is just one of them. And Jesus Christ is the God that he knows, so he wrote about this God, Jesus Christ, but it was inspired by a Hindu God. So, I mean, this whole song is not Christian. Besides the fact that the lyrics are not a prayer, they're not even remotely close to a prayer, and they're just ridiculous to begin with. I mean, sure, maybe the tune's fun. Yeah, okay, outside of church, I could listen to the tune, but the words are nonsense. And the purpose of music in church is to pray and to worship God, to lift your soul to God and to be transcended from this earth into the heavens to worship him. And we're using a Hindu God who looked like he was dancing. We're talking about Jesus dance. It's just all nonsense. We have to get rid of this song. So I don't know who's in charge of this, but I think we should go through the missalettes and get rid of all songs that don't have to do with God, that have dubious foundations and inspirations or aren't even Christian songs or are maybe they're worldly songs or are heresy. There are several songs in these missalettes that are heresy. So let's get rid of all songs that aren't prayers and that are heresy. And I think that would be a great place to start, don't you? This is just the first video of many that we're going to have on bad songs in the church. Songs that need to go because they don't worship God and they're literally taking us down. We need to revamp our music. We need to bring it up like 10 notches. And I'm not talking about everywhere. The Latin Mass has beautiful music and the Latin Mass transcends and it lifts your heart and your soul and your mind to God and it helps you to contemplate God and to pray to him and to worship him. And that is the purpose of music. And not all music has to be like that, but it does have to be beautiful and it does have to fulfill its purpose of worshiping God. So we are going to go through uh, several songs in the future, hopefully, just little quick videos to show why these songs aren't appropriate in Mass. And hopefully somewhere, someday, somebody will look at this and say, you know what? He's right. Let's go through that book and get rid of the garbage. Thanks everybody for watching. If you like this video, this short little rant, please give it a like. Please let me know your thoughts, uh, songs that you don't like, put them in the comments below, and even songs that you think shouldn't be in there. Maybe we can make videos on them, but put that down below on uh, your bottom five songs, perhaps. <laughs> the worst songs that we sing in church, like this little light of mine. That might be the next one I do. Um, but leave a comment like this, subscribe to our channel, and feel free to look down below and check out our Facebook. If you haven't followed us on Facebook, do it, and Instagram, and Pinterest, and TikTok. And if you haven't supported our ministry, we would be eternally grateful if you'll consider doing so. Thank you so much, and God bless.